everyone i'm miracle and right now today we are going to talk about 10 important idioms you can use every day actually we have formal and informal but right now we are going to talk about informal and neutral because it's actually very conversational you can use it with family friends not even at work i am going to teach this in a very fun way that you understand so let's use receptionist first maybe you want to go secure a job and when you get there you saw the receptionist and she's actually busy you can and you waited for some hours you waited and you didn't get response from her then she looked at you and said so sorry i'll be with you pretty soon your response can be take your time definition of take your time means don't rush i'm happy to wait or imagine you are in a meeting before the meeting starts the person you are supposed to be in the meeting with just message you and said sorry one minute please so your response can be take your time it's very polite thing to do it's a very polite thing to do or maybe when you are quiet in the meeting like when you are very quiet in the meeting and they are they are wondering why you can respond with sorry i was so quiet during the meeting i have been out of sort all day definition of out of sort is slightly healed you understand like it can be maybe you, you are not feeling too good you can just you can't just start telling people i'm not feeling too good no you can tell them i'm out of sort like i'm out of sort all day definition of it means slightly healed maybe you are with your friends and you guys are having a conversation or maybe you guys are in a party or maybe you guys are in a fun place then you see that your friends your friend is being disturbed and it's not looking as if you are the only one that is having fun you can go and meet him or her and said come on faith this is a party let your hair down and go a little wide let your end down means relax and enjoy you actually tell the person that you can actually forget about your sorrow and just relax and enjoy or maybe you and your friends are just talking about your younger sister you can bring up some stuff like my younger sister is very brilliant that she is beautiful is just icing on a cake definition of icing means bonus so what you are trying to tell your friend is my younger sister is actually brilliant but she's beautiful it's just an icing in the cake so you can also use a word like i have never met a more down to health young woman in my life wow this word is <laughs> let me not say anything i have never met a more down to earth young woman in my life the definition means and realistic you are trying to tell the person that you have never met a very sensitive woman in your life or maybe you are you are with your friend and you guys are going out to get something so your friend already know the price of something you wanted to ask and your friend was not like sorry i've already asked you can say i will take your word for it i will take your word for it shortly means that i believe you you don't need to start saying um, i will take your word for it it means i believe you then you can also say in less than a minute your bed will be ready and waiting for you to eat a sack it's actually telling us the definition is go to bed so maybe when you and your classmates are done with one i don't with it uh you got you and your course mates just finished attending a, a course or maybe a class it's like i ate this course it's just all about calculation your response should be cut yourself some slack you just attended the first class <laughs> are you hearing that like cut yourself some slack you just attended the first class you actually tell your friend that you should not panic you just finished the first class cut yourself some slack the definition means don't be so critical maybe you saw your friend and she was happy to see you so she asks why have you not been in school since all these days you can just give her the response with i was feeling under the weather since last week 
the definition is a little bit sick so you are actually telling your friend that you have you have been a little bit sick since last week um maybe you just come home and your friends will be like ah, babe why are you why are you so early did you go to work you'll be like your response should be i was feeling rough all morning long story short my boss sent me home you're actually telling your friends that you are not fine at all and you don't want to prolong issue by telling our stories you just made it short by saying long story short my boss sent me home so definition means the whole story is not important just the end we'll continue next week thank you all for watching hope you have learned some new words and hope you are going to use it also please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments drop it on our comment section and also like bye